What's up guys, Freeman here, and uh, today I want to talk about why the hell I sabotage myself so much. Now, uh, this may be surprised some people, but I have been doing a juice fast uh, for quite a while, and I've been trying to correct my diet and stuff. And I found that it's become so exceedingly hard recently. I got to 22 days, and I made myself a video about how I feel amazing. Just amazing, you know, getting the junk food, the alcohol, the cigarettes, the gluten, the dairy, the sugar. All of it I got out of my system, right? And I felt I felt so good that I, I had to I was at work and I went around the back just to sort of clear my you know, just to sort of clear my head and just sort of I remember just thinking to myself, all these years of all this crap and dealing with anxiety and depression, gone. It's finally gone. And I I, I I actually shed a tear as well. I I was just so happy about it. But what I what I forgot to do was I, I, I forgot to stay vigilant. Um, there's a saying, I can't remember who said it, is that the, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. I haven't exactly made a habit out of this, it's just I've managed to do it for this long. So because I wasn't vigilant, I allowed myself to slip back into my old pattern. Well, this idiot thought that, okay, I've done 22 days without drinking, so how do I celebrate? I'm gonna go buy a half bottle of gin. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Oh, well, who does this? It's like, yeah, we've cured cancer, so, um, I don't know, let's go hang out in the core of a nuclear reactor and smoke cigarettes. It's just like, why would you, why, why? But anyway, so that basically all culminated in uh, me uh, going off to the cafe, stuffing my face continuously, and then uh, waking up the next morning uh, with sick all down the side of my bed, still in my clothes, room was a mess, there were bottles everywhere, and yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> It was great, seriously. It, it was a lot of fun until I woke up. <laughs> Which is usually what it's like when you drink yourself, uh, when you have that many drinks. It's, it's fun until you have to deal with the reality of the situation, and then you're like, oh crap. But anyway, yeah, I just got annoyed with myself. So like, why don't I do that? You know, fucking start again. So I've, I've erased all the ticks and the stars on my board, and so I'm gonna start again. And you know, it's, it's just one of those things that like you, you've got to be vigilant all the time. And to me, I didn't realize that I am so prone to self-sabotage that like I will literally just be like, okay, you know, I'm doing well. I'm going to hold myself back. And it sounds stupid, but it's it's because I've been, I've just, I have this deep-seated idea that I don't deserve to be successful for a myriad of reasons that I'll be getting into in uh, future videos. But it reminds me once of back when I was in primary school and I was running a race with one of my, one of my old friends and uh, we were all we were both holding a hoop and we were both in, inside the hoop and we were racing other other people who would, who were uh, doing it together other duos I was about to say couples but no homo uh, but yeah so we, we we were running and we fucking went right past all of them we we ran right through them and just before the finish line right I remember this vividly I was like okay slow down slow down slow down slow down and we came second. We were gonna be first, and I was like, "All right, slow down, slow." Down. Uh, you know, and I, I, I remember that, and it's like, like I've always had this idea that I just don't deserve to be successful. And I, I have a few ideas, and well, not ideas. I know what 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 caused it, all sorts of psychological reasons and upbringing and stuff. Um, but you know, it's just like, and that I, I've carried on up until now, when I'm like, okay, you know, let's do 22 days of you know smoking and drinking, and so I finally feel as if I'm there, and then I just. No, 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 I'm gonna go back and smoke. I need to smoke something, I need to smoke something. And this isn't the first time this has happened, you know? And this also happens with NoFap as well sometimes. It's because I will basically uh, tell myself, you know, okay, you know, I, I feel so good now. And then I'll usually have a few drinks and think, oh, yeah, I could probably get away with one. And I'd be more likely to, the less and uh, the more complacent I become. And I become more complacent when I'm less vigilant. And I become less vigilant just out of habit because I just need to get the habit of just being like okay you know every day watch it watch it until it becomes a really ingrained habit and then you can say you know what you know I don't need to deal with this anymore I can just you know go about my day and not have to worry about having to you know um, you know a um, accidentally and unconsciously navigate to Pornhub or to um, <laughs> or to just absentmindedly wander past the fridge to find myself staring into the biscuit tin for some reason yeah that's the sort of stuff but Anyway, that, that's all. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I've restarted my new diet. I'm on day three for anyone that's interested. And um, yeah, thanks. Peace.